Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer with St. Thomas of Becket. My name is David and I will be the leader this morning. With me today is Avita and she will be doing the people's part. Please follow along with her as you are able. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come. Let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. A reading from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 7 to 15. But since you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and the love we have kindled in you, See that you also excel in the grace of giving. I am not commanding you, but I want to test the sincerity of your love by comparing it with the earnestness of others. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you, through his poverty, may become rich. And here is my judgment about what is best for you in this matter. Last year, you were the first not only to give, but also to have the desire to do so. Now finish the work so that your eager willingness to do it may be matched by your completion of it according to your means. For if the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, but not according to what one does not have. Our desire is not what others might be relieved while you are hard pressed, but that what may be equality. At the present time, your plenty will supply what, you're, what they need, so that in turn, your plenty will supply what you need. Your goal is equality, as it is written, the one who gathered much did not have too much, and the one who gathered little did not have too little. I invite you to join in affirming our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, to the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For people from on high and for our salvation, let us pray for, to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishops and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Charles, our King, for the leaders of the nations and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city of Mississauga, for every city and community, and for those who live in them in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For good weather and for abundant harvests for all to share, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, water, or air, for the sick and suffering, for prisoners and captives, and for their safety, health, and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, strife, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the absolution and remission of our sins and offenses, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
remembering all the saints, and we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To Lord, to you, sorry, to you, O Lord. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and any age to become eternal life. For you, Father, are giving, are good and loving, and we glorify you to Son, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us today. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.